Hi, people. Breeny Maxwell here, and it's time for Ask Breeny. That chance for you to ask me a question and me to give you an answer. Isn't that fun? So, let's see what our querent has to say today, shall we? Well, now, today we have two querents with similar questions. Now, Heidi uh, says, Dear Breeny, I'm well-proportioned woman. I'm a well-proportioned woman, but by no means petite. I love vintage clothing, but have a hard time finding outfits in my size. Do you have any shopping tips? Heidi's on Long Island. Now, Myra from Washington, D.C. says, I'm a full-figured gal who loves vintage clothes. Unfortunately, most of the shops carry small sizes. What are some vintage looks that I can make with modern-day basics without breaking the bank? Good questions, girls, and I have some good information for you. So, I have one word for you. California. <laughs> I found that generous sizes and vintage clothing are really more readily available in the Golden State. If your love for vintage is strong enough, find your way to San Francisco and haunt some of the thrift shops there, and, well, you'll come away with some treasures. Now, if a trip to the land of fruits and nuts isn't in the cards for you, there are other options for finding the perfect fit. I swear by eBay and Etsy. The world is at your fingertips there with fabulous fashion and generally fair prices. Look for exact measurements to be sure of fit and return policies so you won't be stuck with something you can't wear. Now, if all else fails, look for vintage silhouettes in new clothing. Mm, simple skirts and straight or A-line silhouettes. Uh, capris and sweater sets and, and accessorize with great no-size items like vintage jewelry and scarves. Having fun with vintage fashion doesn't have to mean fitting into that original Givenchy. So, what's your problem? Come by AskBrini.com and query me. Well, I will be happy to answer your question. And you might, you might, just see it right here on Brini.tv. Until next time, I'm Brini Maxwell. Bye now. What we both were made for, you for me and me for you.